conversation is by figuring out what people believe. Yeah, you made an interesting statement just a few moments ago. What do you say if someone comes to you with Islam or something in God? Someone speaks in the name of God to me, yeah, yeah. or Allah, or Creator. Yeah, that should be because I am a man that all that thought as well and that existence. I have to always support it. Yeah. My point of view is this: yeah, it doesn't matter if you if you don't uh, agree with the way they're doing it. At the end of the day, you know, if you believe in God and Allah, if someone's offering to just speak to you at least, take time to listen to what they're saying, isn't it? Because you don't know what you can learn. Like, you learn something new every day. Like, me coming to chat to you, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to learn, but I know I'm, I'm doing it in the, with the intention to learn something, regardless if I'm with that religion or not. Alright. Now, how would you know what I'm saying to you is from God or is something man-made or something that I made up myself or misguidance that was made up by man then from back in the days. How will I know if it's true or not? So the truth is you know Because I could I, tell you something, it sounds my you take it into your life. But this is my that could be falsehood. Come on bro. I listen yeah but does that mean everything you're saying to me I automatically believe. I'll listen to you because it's respect to listen to what you have to say. Yeah, yeah. But until I go and do my own research, everything you said to me is a rumor. Okay. Unless I know about it already, it's all a rumor to me. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence or what you know. But I'm just gonna say the way I go about life, unless I see it for myself and unless I know what I'm le learning about, I can't really just say yeah. What you're saying is right, unless it's common sense or something that's factual, proven. You know what I'm trying to do? Okay, so we're going by factual and provable. Yeah? Because nah. common sense isn't common. No, no, go on. Yeah. You told me. Yeah, yeah. No, go on. No, continue, continue. Yeah? So let's base this conversation around com um, facts and what do you say? Provable. Evidence. I just, my mind just, yeah, just like, left. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, yeah, you can say that evidence. Evidence based and you said factual, yeah? So yeah. that's what we're going to focus on, yeah? Logic, I deal with logic. Yeah. Emotion, I'm not a science. Okay, logic and rationale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first and foremost, God exists. Yeah. Because from nothing comes nothing. Yeah. So quickly move on from there. God exists. It existed before you existed. Yeah. Always existed. Yeah. Before, it was before God, it Allah. Physical, it's a, it's a subconscious bro. It's not even that, like, I would even say that, look, I'm not going to compare the creator with the creation. You know, you're talking about full places and this and subconscious. I'm saying that doesn't apply to God Allah. Allah is, cannot be compared to the creation. Yeah. So God is uncreated with no beginning, with no end. Yeah. yeah. Now, all of God's creation has a beginning and has an end. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Allah doesn't have a beginning, doesn't have an end. Allah created this world and created us for a reason and told us what that reason is through prophets and messengers. Yeah? How do you feel about that? Do you know much about prophets or messengers? I know a little bit. Obviously, growing up young, you learn about prophets and like school. Um, I learned a lot of different types of religions. How I feel about prophets and stuff like that, I would say there's always a limit for me, in my opinion, because um, you see the way I've grown up here. Yeah, I've always been asking questions. I'm an open thinker. I please, please, I welcome it. I don't, I don't follow everyone's trends. Like I try to stand out, and you know when I'm doing that, there's a lot of questions I ask. See, I grew up in a um, Christian family. Yeah, um, throughout my whole life, a lot of questions I ask, the answers they gave me. Well, yeah, but this God loves you. Yeah, but God, don't ask that. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But from a young person's point of view, yeah, he's only gonna know so much. So as I've grown up, I'm 21 now, yeah. But as I've grown up, I start to go research things for myself. And when I'm seeing things for myself, yeah, and I'm still going to the environment of like church and still trying to ask similar questions, knowing that I already have the knowledge about it. I'm not getting the answers that where I'm supposed to be surprised or learn something from. That's where I kind of stepped away from it. I was like, hold on, I need to do a bit more research for myself to know what is right for me. Because that's why I say, like, you see the prophet thing, yeah? I don't really know too much 
how, how it's going to impact me yet yeah, because I'm still trying to understand what, not, not understand, understand what I'm trying to um, learn we'll, we'll, we'll come back to the prophets because Islamic narrative understanding of prophets is day and night difference between the Christians and I don't know what you got to in school. So I'm going to give you the Islamic definition. But that being said, religion and revelation from anything from God needs to answer questions, not leave you confused. Yeah, that's yeah. my claim. This is from yeah. Islam, yeah? Now, you had some questions, yeah? I welcome your questions and I want to see if Islam satisfies your questions. So what questions did you ask in the church or what questions did you generally have? And shall I tell you something? You can't offend me and you're asking to know. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I was asking questions like, how are you aware of his, of God's existence? Because, like, why is it when times get tough here, everyone's ready to go and be the most merciful person they can be when it comes to religion? But when, it, when times are not so bad and we're just doing our own thing, yeah, because you actually have a free role, why is no one put the same energy in um, like, God Allah? Why is no one doing that? Also, Another point to add on to that, I was taught that oh, like the soul, the soul dies and stuff like that. My thing is this, yeah. You see, if, if we existed before the existence, yeah, everything you're taught, your mind is, is your soul, basically, yeah. Your mind controls everything. Personally, I live in my body because my body is the vehicle that does it, but everything operates out here. So, personally, in, from, a, from a common sense, perspective i could say that oh yeah i'm a god because i'm the one that's controlling me i'm creating thoughts i'm creating action i'm everything i'm doing is fired from up here so mental you know what I'm trying to say? can i pause you because you've made three points yeah no, I get off, but yeah I'm no no it's calm fine. yeah i'm gonna go with the last one in backwards order yeah you being god what is your definition of god uh the, the creator of but you haven't created all things, nor do you have the capacity to create all things. Yeah, fair point. That's one thing. Now, control. Yeah, you control your actions. Yeah, but may Allah protect you and guide us all. Where it's like, look, if you had a stroke yeah. and then your arm goes numb, you can't even control your arm no more. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, so at the moment, um, the control you have is the control given to you by God. Yeah, limited. Is limited, yeah. and I'm saying Allah is unlimited in His names and attributes. Yeah. So that's one element. Yeah. You is making a connection between the soul and the mind. Islam separates the soul and the mind. Why is that? Separate entities. Does it make sense? A soul never dies. Yeah, that's what I, I, yeah? I, I do um, understand that. The soul doesn't die. The body dies. Yeah. yeah. The mind. Islam separates from the heart and as well as the mind. Does it make sense? As in, like the emotions. Yeah? Uh, how we, how we, like, like the decision making process. You have the logical element of it, the rational, and then you have the emotional element. So we, we make these three distinctions between um, that. So the soul, we believe, um, is a creation of Allah that only Allah knows about. Does it make sense? So I can tell you a few things that Allah has revealed to us. For example, the soul never dies. Yeah. yeah? Right. Um, when you die, the bud, the soul goes to paradise. The soul gets judged. What, what's, your, soul... what's your view on paradise on that? Because my, the way I think about paradise... I'm going to pause you one second. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Let's stick on these three points right, and yeah, then we'll yeah. get, to get to paradise. Yeah? yeah. So I'm going to address the soul and then I'm going to address... Um, the fitra and then paradise. Fitra. Uh, no, we're going to get to it. So those are the three things you need to remind me. So, so the soul, um, yeah, is, is, is the creation of God that gives us consciousness. Does that make sense? Yeah. So at the moment, the body might die, the, soul, um, the mind might die, but the soul doesn't. And then the soul gets judged upon its actions. Does that make sense? The consciousness. Because yeah. even like atheists, like, they struggle to kind of explain consciousness. Like, what is consciousness? Where did it come from? 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so I would argue that consciousness is from God, it's the soul. Do you know what I mean? That's why, that's why I think, in a way, you can call yourself, like, in a way you can say that, but I understand, no, not understand, I understand at the same time that it's maybe, from a logical point of view, when you wear all the facts and figures, maybe it's not the right thing to do. But from someone that's young, that's inexperienced with the whole knowledge of Islam, I feel like um, the point I just made is fair for someone that doesn't really know too much about it. At the moment, don't get too caught up in if what you're saying makes it's sense right or, wrong, or right. if it's right or wrong. Because at the moment, look, you're giving on the spot answers which you probably haven't had time to think about. And because the reality of it is, bro, we live in a world where you don't get to think about existential questions. You don't get to think about the soul and life and death and paradise. All you're getting to is how are you going to make the money? How are you going to get the pen girl? For the Leng girl, yeah? Um, what car do you drive? What phone you carry? You know what I mean? Social sizes. And I'm thinking like, those things are secondary. Primary, yeah? I wouldn't even put as close as secondary. They're further down the line. Primary is knowing God. Knowing our purpose in life. Connecting with the Creator. Knowing where you come from. Yeah? Now, your first question was in regards to... It was a beautiful point. You were talking about, you know, how we want to connect with God and we want to like, worship God. And then at points we want to connect with God and then um, we stop. What makes us want to? What makes us want to stop? Yeah. The fitra is how God. Sorry, I don't have any cash. Um, um, no, 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 no. Um, so the fitra is basically how God has created us with this natural inclination to believe in God, to worship one God. Yeah, it's not natural to believe in multiple gods. It's natural for us to want to be kind. Does that make sense? But the society corrupts you. The society tells you, oh, um, be consumer-driven. Be selfish, don't give to charity, don't yeah, believe in God. I, 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 yeah, I do So, like the Quran even mentions in regards to, you know, when the disbelievers, like I'll use the example of, of sinking boat. There's no atheist on a sinking boat. When the boat is going down, it's like, oh God, forgive me, I know I didn't believe, but get me out of this calamity, I'm going to start believing. And then once they get out of the calamity, they go back to disbelief. Yeah. So I'm saying everyone is born upon Islam, born upon the fitter, the belief in one God. Yeah. But the society changes us. No, I'm all right. sure. yeah. How are you gonna give me this? Like, how am I gonna drink this in front of the brother now? No, 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 I don't want to drink in front of the brother. Right? It's not even that. Nice. I'm just gonna chat in. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real with you, yeah. yeah. How much time you got? Give me a time frame. Five minutes. Five minutes. Alright. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm meant to be somewhere, yeah, but. Yeah. But you stopped it. Now no, I respect you know that. I'm in I five wanna, minutes. I don't want someone doing their thing to preach the word of God on Allah, you know? I nah, love for that. Love for that. Alright. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a time on my phone. Yeah? Okay, where we at? Where we at? What's this on? What? You're just doing it natural recording, like, how do you. I'll, I'll give you the YouTube channels and so on and so forth. So this is Dower to the Soul. Oh, yeah, and you can see the other videos we've got on there. Um, D O A W H. Um, w A H. No, D A. Yeah. D A. So get rid of the O. W A H. The number two. So. It's interesting because we were talking about soul as well. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go for it, my bro. Oh. So we start at the time, bro. Four minutes, 30 seconds, yeah? Let's do this. Um, so that's the fitra. I'm going to say that, look, God created us for a reason, told us what that reason is through prophets and messengers. Perfect example to mankind, men chosen by God who are known to be trustworthy and honest, yeah? God revealed after they die and the message gets corrupted. Um, the message lives into a perfect book. Once the book gets changed and corrupted, God sends another prophet, another book. 
now because um, there's no more messages to come, the final message the Prophet Muhammad has been sent, then the, pref the perfect book, the Quran, will not be changed, will not be corrupted. Has it ever been changed? No, 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 no. Um, it was yeah, 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 yeah. Through a tradition of memorization, yeah, through um, in the Birmingham manuscript, if you type that in, you see that we've got a Quran that's been carbon dated to the time of the Prophet Muhammad. We've got over two million people who have memorized uh, the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot, in the language it was revealed in. Yeah, so nothing's been changed. In fact, Nine verses into it, it says a book where there's no doubt, there's no mistakes in it, there's no corruption. Can you imagine? It just starts out, it just drops it like, okay, this book, there's no doubt. In fact, it challenges the disbelievers and it says that, look, um, if you have any doubt, then bring something like it. Yeah? And this says, bring a chapter like it. The smallest chapter in the Quran is three verses, ten words. And still, the linguistics, the kind of um, rhetorical devices, the language, choice of words, and how it describes and how it speaks, is just divine. Does that make sense? Yeah. So my evidence, because we were talking about logic and rationale, uh, God Allah has sent us a perfect scripture, which is tangible, and you can visual, you can test and examine it. So I'm going to give it to you as a free gift, this, the Quran. Oh, no, I don't have to do that. Right? No, 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 we're here, this is what we do, we're giving it out. Does that make sense? So you would honor me by accepting it, by reading it, by benefiting. And I'll get reward as well, does that make sense? Because at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is, we wasn't just created for no reason, for play. If you choose not to believe in the one who created us, what's worse than this? I, I, I do hear your point. Does that make sense? Yeah, You're saying, yeah, God, Allah, this, that. I don't want to be disrespectful, but should, you're disrespecting always, the creator yeah. by not connecting, not making time. The creation, the, the creator, creator, yeah. Yeah, creator, yeah. Because. But what, how are you doing you this though? Your purpose as well. I've got bail up for you. You giving yeah, me your time, yeah? No, no, you giving me your time. You've been friendly. You've been polite. But you haven't given the same courtesy to the one who created you, your parents, heaven and earth. But you don't gave know you that. lungs, huh? But you don't know that. I do know that. Oh. Maybe you're on your journey, but if you done it consistently and with a full open heart, you'd be Muslim by now. How do I know? Because if you read the Quran, you wouldn't disagree with it. You wouldn't reject it. You wouldn't leave it behind. Does that make sense? So, you haven't read the Quran. No, I haven't. There you go. That's how I know. Does that make sense? Now, being a good person isn't enough. Because how do you be good? How do you be good? I'm an individual. How do you be good? I'm asking you. How do you be good? Through your intellect, intellect, through what the society tells you, from what you've been taught. Yeah. All of this is not divinely inspired. If you said, I'll be good because the Quran says this, the perfect Surah says that, God says this, that's fine. That's actually good. The world is so, so very, very quickly, oh, the society right now, it changes. Yeah, so what's yeah, right now changes. isn't going to be right in 50 years time. No. What was illegal and a mental illness 50 years ago, it's your right, it's your freedom. Well, look at it like this, yeah? You said something about why do we choose to be good, yeah? Now... No, I said how do we choose how, to be good? How, how do you know yeah, what good is? I, now, this is, this is how I'm going to answer this. 10 seconds, yeah? I'm this going to world, rush you off. This, this, this world was started in peace, right? Our how do you peace. know? No, because I do my research. Based now, on the world? No, 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 no. Before, before we... You're guesstimating, my bro. In your opinion, your no, scholarship. You know, it's, you know, I like the um, experience of being in front of a camera and speaking my intellect. So yeah. I might start on things, but I know what I'm talking about. No, no, no. What you're saying, you're not stuttering. I'm challenging you and I'm interrupting. My apologies, bro. I'm going to let you finish because I want you to like, give I, your reference. Because um, I'm going to shut my mouth. I want to have this talk again. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what? What do you Go on, like? um, Instagram. Instagram. It's, I think it's been dis, um, disconnected, but I'll reconnect it. So, it's D A. Can I take your, your number? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, take my number. Take my number, bro. What's that? Yeah, 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 that's lovely. That. Now nah, look forward to it, man. Yeah, man, it's a good deal with the bait. See, I'm young, but I'm, I'm not like a lot of other young people. I know a lot of them. They wouldn't really have the interest to come and do what I'm doing. They, they wouldn't have the intellect. They wouldn't have the humility. 
Does it make sense? You know when you get challenged by truth, yeah, and you get challenged by someone else's knowledge, sometimes your body temperature can start rising. But see me, yeah, when I'm not, when I don't know something, I can only learn. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So yeah, man, I like the conversation we had, man. No problem, man. Love, my bro. Thank you so much.